Hello everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host Scott Fry and we're going to be diving into on the show today things you can do with your diet to stop your teeth from becoming sensitive. And something that I found with sensitive teeth is that oftentimes things you're doing that should work don't and things that shouldn't work in the first place end up providing some sort of relief. So what I've kind of become a big fan of uh, with regard to dentin hypersensitivity is the kitchen sink approach, which means we're going to throw everything we can at the particular problem and whatever seems to help, we're just going to go ahead and stick with that and just roll with the punches. So in terms of things you can do with your diet, there are three big things that we need to focus on. Number one, you want to go ahead and limit erosive foods and drinks in your diet. And I know we talked a little bit about last week about uh, lesion initiation where these areas of exposed dentin because the protein layer has been stripped off and the pores are exposed to the oral environment, they become activated and cause that sensitivity that you may be feeling. And one of the big ways that this happens is erosive foods and drinks. And that means things like soda, citrus fruits, uh, citrus juices, and vinegars. And there are ways to kind of limit how erosive these things can be, but really the best way is to avoid them as much as you possibly can. I realize they have lots of uh, nice vitamins and minerals, especially you know grapefruit, but in general, if sensitivity is a problem for you, this is something that you need to take a serious look at. Number two, Popeye was on to something, eating your spinach. Now, that fuzzy feeling you you get when you have spinach or a banana or something that's rich in oxalic acid. What that is, is these tiny crystals um, precipitating your teeth called oxalates and a lot of the topical treatments you'll find in your dentist's office use this exact same principle to precipitate oxalates along the dentin and plug up those pores where the pain is originating from. So if you incorporate foods like spinach, rhubarb, bananas, there's a ton. You can look them up online. I'll even provide a little link to uh, oxalate rich foods. You can do and try, uh, you can try basically getting uh, the similar effect as you would with some of these topical agents at the dentist's office just by eating you know, a healthy green vegetable. And lastly, you want to incorporate dairy somewhere in your diet during the day. And this is big because uh, milks, cheeses, yogurts, if they come from cows, goats, or another animal, what they have in them are casins. Uh, and these proteins in particular, what they do is coat your teeth, and that coating provides a buffer against acids, which kind of helps out with number one. And that protein layer also physically prevents uh, calcium from leaving your teeth, just a little bit. And that ends up being a big, big benefit in terms of sensitivity. So if you're looking to go ahead and reduce sensitivity with your teeth, these are three changes that you can make in your diet to help yourself out. And we're going to be talking in the next couple of posts about different things you can do in other areas to produce some similar effects. So I'll see you next week.